so we called this a stash buster and um so i started looking at my stash i started looking at things that the grandchildren had left behind the colors they might like it to be and i said you know it'd be lovely if this uh unicorn was brown um that would be fantastic because granny has a lot of brown threads lying around rich is looking at me because he's always finding bits of everything um and um unfortunately they want it to be white <laughs> so i think that uh i'm going to be pretty short of white but we're going to work on that um, and I'm going to try and persuade them I don't know how we're going to try and persuade them that unicorns can come in every colour but they can so put those aside for the moment the only choice you've got to make now is or please could you make uh, to what colour you'll want this um, lattice work in the background now I made it a very obvious wintry blue because I had 361 colours in the Appleton's range to choose from but if I'm just going to go for my stash, then um, well, I've got a very, very bright blue here. I might use that one. A new skein. Oh, lovely. Um, or I might use up the knitting wool that was my, you know, good intention of um, maybe I'll make the child a, a cardigan. Some hope. Um, Ophelia and I knitted a dress for one of the children and it is an interesting shape and it looks very nice on a teddy bear, but um, nobody's ever going to wear it. Um, so if you look at that, background that would be a very spotty effect so um variegated uh threads in crew work are rare and they certainly never used um before the about well i would say the end of the 1900s so you know variegated is a very strange thing um in crew work but uh you could use something like that or something that was actually more like soft shading that's rather beautiful and rather chunky because this thread is going to be laid on the top and then couched down so that's another experiment oh, i like that um, i tend to buy threads and i just look at them a lot and i don't um, use them so uh, i've got some stranded anchor thread here i've got some uh, i saw i had some nice trevis on somewhere which was lovely as well um in hiding richard can you see um lots and lots of anchor threads that are uh, were from something I did with Coates Anchor. There's a mauve colour that's very popular with every child. Thank you very much, Richard. He's chucking threads at me. Oh, millions of blues from the oranges that I was stitching last week. Or you could have a sunset. Now, the thread, you don't have to have one colour blue with this. You could have start at the top with a with a darker blue, maybe, and then and then when you get down to about there, it will be in a V shape, you could change down through several shades. So we could go down through, for example, oh, I like this idea, actually. I'm just making this up. You can just make this up as you go along, if you're allowed. Um, you're looking at me in a very odd way, Richard. I'm not looking at you, I'm looking at the stocking. Okay, right, okay. So, so with this, I could put laid work in this one colour in both directions and then halfway down in a slightly paler colour and then the slightly paler colour again. You could even go down to a pinky colour and have a sort of, um, or an orangey colour and have a bit of a sunset going on. Uh, if you just think you're going to make an animal over the top of this in brightly coloured threads with lots of colour in the main tail if you've got some. So, you know the children absolutely loved all these bright colors and I was going to use my silkier colors for that um plus oh bliss I found some gold <laughs> it's really lovely um all you've got to remember with all these threads is you need a needle that's going to carry them so don't get too carried away if you haven't got a good stash of hefty needles oh here's the trevis on I thought this was going to be rather nice as well so on the design I've used uh, whites, I usually use whites and greys, and I've used a white to couch this, um, this laid and couch work. But you don't need to do that. You could keep the whites just for the snowflakes and the couching could be in a glittery colour or anything else you like. So um, just, or it could be in a bit of mauve. So just have a bit of fun and don't worry about this at all. You know, any child, this is, this is like, some sort of drug for children they love these sort of pinks these sort of pinks 
I can feel <laughs> I can feel myself not liking that too much but just if you don't like a color just use it for the little bit of couching um, and just a tiny little bit but you know I am a terrible snob when it comes to color but I'm really getting quite keen on using some silver and some gold.